No, no, let's see, it's not second. Pull up a chair and sink a few, friend. Though that might be a, a poor turn of phrase, given my history. <laughs> I have seen a few shipwrecks. Been in one myself as it goes, back when I was young like you. And then it was the Ophidian, that ship. Pulled down beneath the jagged straits. I was the only survivor, too, man. Maybe you buys me a drink and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> this? No, no, this coin's not for spending, friend. That's my lucky kraken for to pay the tithe. The tithe? You know the tithe. <laughs> Everyone knows about the tithe. Pay the tithe or face the ocean's wrath. Oh, by the bearded lady. Then you never heard a Nautilus either. The Titan of the Depths. Barkeep, pour us around, Barkeep. There's a good lass. This is a tale that needs an ale, as they say. <laughs> and my friend here is buying. Oh, that's the good stuff, that is. Mm. Ah, it was almost 30 years back now, returning from a hunt. I was a harpooner, finest shot in the slaughter fleets. We'd caught ourselves an axe-fin leviathan. Ah, one of them big mean buggers. Uh, <laughs> and we was hauling the beast back to port. <sighs> it was just before dawn. Bilgewater's city lights flickered in the distance, beckoning us in. There were razor fish and berserker sharks following close by, because the axe-fin was oozing into the water sea. The old captain. <laughs> well, none of us much cared for him. Untrustworthy sort. He swears blind he paid the tithe before we left. A single gold kraken, he said, for tis all I have to give. <laughs> but none of us seen him throw it over the side, now did we? So, naturally, we were suspicious. Because we knew he was a tight fisted old war threat. But on we sailed anyway. And that was when the Titan hit us. Without warning, this bloody great anchor comes at us from below. Smashed clean through the keel, up through the main deck. Caught us tight and started pulling us down. Oh, <laughs> it was chaos, friend. Sailors thrown overboard. The water's churning. Scavengers feeding. I grabs the captain, screaming at him, You're a liar! This is the lady's punishment for those who don't pay! <sighs> the ship was going down fast. But then the planking gave way, didn't it? And the anchor slid back into the depths. <sighs> if it had ended there, well... More of us might have got away. But it weren't over. <laughs> Nautilus weren't done with us yet. The ship, she tipped to starboard right son. It was the weight of the Titan himself hauling up onto the deck. <laughs> Perhaps it did once been a man, but... Uh, it weren't no man I saw that night rising from the waves. I as I kept him by the throat. This is your doing, I roared, as I chokes the bastard, his eyes wide. <laughs> He can see, not unless he's coming for us. So I shows the captain away, down the slanted deck, and this thing catches him in one hand, if you can believe it. It was so big, the fingers closed completely around his body. And the captain weren't a small man by any stretch, no. There's your tie, thy elves, and jumped overboard. I don't know how long I was in the water. Must have only been seconds, but it felt like an age. <laughs> but the sea scavengers didn't get me, Mother Serpent be praised. Pulled myself up onto one of them stone pinnacles out there in the strait. And I watched the Ophidian sink. Nautilus still held the captain, squirming and wriggling like a stock worm, but there were no escape in that grasp. The Titan was just standing there, motionless as a statue. 
I watch them go. Down. Down into the darkness. <laughs> Why spare me? I don't rightly know. Perhaps I was the only one to make an offering. Or maybe Nautilus wanted someone left alive to tell the tale, huh? But on the darkest bilge was a night when the murder fog rolls in. You might hear him weird and out from the shallows, slow and steady-like, dragging that accursed anchor in his wake. <sighs> you want my advice, friend? Keep a coin in your pocket and always pay the tithe. And don't trust no captain who says he's done it, lest you've seen it for yourself. <laughs> After all, you might not be so lucky as me.